Hi, my name is Mike Welch. Today we are going to be looking at prepayment entries and accounts payable. In this video, we will talk about what a prepayment entry is and walk through the process of creating a prepayment entry, paying a prepayment entry, and then applying a prepayment entry to a voucher. Let's first start with explaining what a prepayment entry is. A prepayment is a check created in the system without a voucher. The vendor carries a negative balance until a voucher is entered to apply to the prepayment. When the check is released, the vendor balance is updated automatically to show the net effect of the voucher and prepayment. Now that we have a better understanding of what a prepayment entry is, let's enter one into Microsoft Dynamics SL. In the Financial Module, under Accounts Payable, prepayments are entered in the Quick Voucher and Prepayment Entry screen. The reference number is automatically assigned for new prepayments. Type will be prepayment. Handling will be release now. You will notice setting the handling field to release now will activate the print keep check button at the bottom of the screen. Enter the vendor's ID, which in this case we are using V00213. Amount, we will use 1000. Account, we will use 1251 in this case. And sub account will leave as the default. And price, we will use 1000. We will then save this prepayment. And at this point, a prepayment has been created but has not been paid or applied to a voucher. In order to pay the prepayment, Click the Print Keep Check button, verify everything on this screen is correct, and click Continue. The system prompts you to load the check forms before the check printing process begins. Load the check form into the printer and click OK to continue. After the checks have printed, the AP Check Update window displays. Available options are identical to the regular system check processing options. So we will use keep all and click begin processing. Now we need to apply the prepayment to a voucher. You can apply a prepayment when you create a voucher in the voucher and adjustment screen. For our voucher we will have handling as release now. Control V1000. Vendor was V00213. Amount will be 1000. We we'll use the defaults there. Project will use 0. And price will use 1000. If you were to apply the prepayment at the time you're entering the voucher, you would enter the prepayment number here. If you hit F3, it'll pull up the list and you'll see the $1,000 prepayment that we entered. You click OK. And at that point, you would save and that would associate that prepayment to this voucher. I am not going to apply the prepayment using that method. We are actually going to apply the plate apply the prepayment using the prepayment application screen. So we will finish this voucher without the prepayment applied to it. And then we will go to the prepayment application screen. Batch handling, we will do release now. Batch control will be 1000. Vendor ID will be V00213. Operation type will be application. And the applied ref number, type or select the number of the voucher or credit adjustment to associate with the prepayment, which in this case is voucher 99. Prepayment number will be the prepayment that we entered, which in this case is 98. 
and save and release this batch. And now that prepayment is associated to that voucher. Now let's take a look at how this appears in the vendor maintenance screen. We'll pull up vendor ID V00213. Go to documents and you will see our initial prepayment. You can see our voucher that was created. And then after you apply it to the voucher, it creates two check lines. Now let's pull the vendor period trial balance report up where I have created three payments in each stage of the process. This first one is just a prepayment that has been entered with no payment or being applied to a voucher. So you'll see there's just one line item. The second one is a prepayment that has been entered and paid. So you can see the prepayment and you can see the check. And the third one is a prepayment that has been entered, paid, and applied. So you can see the prepayment, you can see the check, you can see the voucher that it was applied to, and then you can see the check as it is being applied to that voucher. Now let's also pull up the period sensitive aged AP report. You'll notice only the prepayment that has been entered and paid but not applied shows on this report. This concludes the process of entering, paying, and applying a prepayment entry in accounts payable. I hope this video was helpful.